Hello, my warriors. Welcome to Let's Talk About It Thursday. Now, guys, I was waiting in line for my medicine. Now I got it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drive. So you may see my face. You may not. So I'm going to switch arms for the moment because I had to take my car out of park. And then we're going to drive. Now, normally I had y'all on my little thing up there, but I can't find it. Plus, it falls down all the time. So, I got this sun in my eyes. Okay, so, the topic for today is... Should I live with him or her before we get married so i'm gonna put it down here so i can try to take a little bit of the sun away now the answer to that question in my opinion is yes okay now we're going to go back to the b-i-b-l-e days back then they said the word it's better to marry than to burn Okay, now looking at today's society on what's going on, I mean, I want you to really think about 20, the end of 2022, or should I say the middle of 2022 until now, which will be April the 6th, 2023. Think about it. Should I live with that person first or should I marry them then live with them? Because it's like this, guys. When you are dating someone and that person really, really digs you. Ooh, this son going to kill me. Hold on. Let me pull my thing down. When you are dating someone, right, and that person, y'all are digging each other, y'all will put up with whatever, okay? That person comes to your house, they may spend the night, stay there a couple of days, whatever the case may be. Nine times out of the ten, you on your best behavior, they on their best behavior. Okay? And you may go to that person's house, and it's vice versa. But when it comes down to time for you all to pick a house to live in, I'm going to say, it's time to get a new place. My opinion is buy a place that you all can put your own signature on, okay? When you moving into his place and he has all his stuff, a lot of times he might not want to change it because he's so content, you know, used to vice versa for a woman she might not want to change her stuff but when y'all buy a house and you all are going shopping together okay we want to put this in the house we want to do this it becomes total different because both of y'all are participating in the changing of you all style so that's one thing a lot of people have problems with. Okay? Then, we have... Why is y'all blowing the horn? The light is not red. I mean, not green. Not from what I see. <laughs> then, you have where... That person may be okay with you lying in bed 
eating or not lying, sitting in bed eating or watching different TV shows. They deal with it. They don't say nothing because, key thing, they're trying to win you over. Now, when y'all move together, then it's a problem. So you say to yourself, okay, when we was coaching, as we say back in the day, now we say dating, you didn't have a problem with it. But now all of a sudden, you have a problem with it. So what people need to realize Whichever way you start your relationship, that's the way it needs to continue. If you was accepting it when y'all was just dating or coaching, then you need to accept it when you get married. Okay, y'all might be the people that constantly go out all the time. But now... Y'all done got married. You don't do those things so no more. So who's hurting inside? The person who loved doing it the most. So the key thing here is you can't do one thing when dating and turn around and expect another thing after dating. Okay, y'all may be bit bap, thank you ma'am, bang, bang, banging all the time. Then what happened when y'all move in together, you get married? It slows down. Why? Because, like I say, he or she was trying to win your love in reality. So, you say to yourself, okay, you don't really care for my kids now because you say they're running around, they're having a good time. But when you was dating me, you was running around with my kids, having a good time. So, that's when the key thing or the key factor is. Don't start and then you can't finish. That's something I tell everybody. If you can't, you know, finish it years to come, should I say, then you don't need to start it now. So, I feel that... In today's society, you need to live with a person. You need to see how they are. Because when you look around today, you see men killing women like it's no joke. And then they turn around. Oops, I wasn't supposed to say that. Okay, let's go back. You see men taking out women and then do the same thing to the child. And that's why I say it is better to live with a person before you get married to them so that you can get to know their ins and outs, what they cool with, what they not cool with. So then you can decide if you want to take that chance on marrying that person down the road. So, should you date before marriage so hopefully I was able to drop a little bit of information to you that's why it's so hard in today's society money plays a strong role in it you know when y'all dating you know you don't care if that person spend money on buying I'm going to use me, for example, a lot of purses, getting her nails done, getting her feet done, getting her hair done. You was okay with that. But then when you marry, oh, no, you don't need to do that. We need to save money. No. She want to look good. Just like you want to go and buy the highest price cologne or you want to go get your fade done every single week. You want to get your beard cut or laid out every single week it's vice versa what y'all do is you come up with a budget to make it work for the both of you 
So, once again, should you date a person before you marry them? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to come to you with that. Because that's a topic I heard a lot of people talking about. And I think nowadays you need to really think about what you're doing before you do it. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you are not a warrior yet, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then hit the notification to be notified of all videos along with share this video. Let them know what your girl is doing. Leave a comment. Thumbs it up. Thanks so much. Later.